Alrighty, we have an Elven matchup from uh, Lenorm, is Sulfur Crested Cockatoo, and Azrael of Astora. He's been around for a while, but recently has been showing up in pretty high level tournaments. Quite a good player. Malkith versus Imric is the meta these days. They're usually both around the dragons. Lenorm is taking Malkith just on his cold one with Soul Stealer, Gaze of Malice, and Stand Your Ground. Other than that, we have Triple Scourge Runner Chariot, two Dark Riders, repeat of crossbows. We do have a cold one, Dread Knight. We have two Sisters of Singing, uh, sorry, Sisters of Slaughter, a couple Black Art Corsairs, Bleak Swords, and Dread Spears across the front line. And that is that for the Dark Elves. On the side of the High Elves, we do have Imric up on his dragon with the Dragon's Horn, Lord of Dragon, and Star, uh, Star Dragon Breath Attack. We have a Frost Heart Phoenix. Somebody else just used one against me, and it actually proved to be pretty good. So, curious to see how it does. The only Phoenix that doesn't have a rebirth that actually heals it, so do have to watch out for that. Four Lothar and Seaguard, four White Lions of Krace, and Triple Spearman. We also have a Life Mage with Regrowth and Earthblood to heal up Imric and the Frostheart Phoenix. No Dwellers below. After its nerf, I could see them not wanting to use that, and also just Imric usually requires a lot of healing babysitting, so might as well focus on what you brought it for. A little bit of a skirmish phase, gonna fast forward through that as Scourge Runner Chariots try to get free pokes onto Imric and the Frostar Phoenix, and they are going to dance around the big spire. And the Frostar Phoenix goes for a couple charges. Lothar and Seaguard are now in range to harass the Scourge Runners a little bit, but they are chariots, so they're pretty easy to dodge most of the shots. And the front lines are now advancing towards each other. Frostar Phoenix is taken, I don't know, what is that, a thousand? Yeah, about a thousand two hundred from the Scourge Runner Chariots. So the Scourge Runner Chariots have already used a third to half of their ammunition, so they are a very low ammunition unit. Sisters so of Slaughter getting focused down. They have five armor and bronze shields. It's not enough to save them from Lothar and Seaguard, and Imric plus the Frostar Phoenix diving on them to hold them in place. That is a very expensive unit just getting taken to the curb. Now Lothar and Seaguard will have to fall back behind their White Lion front line. The White Lion should trade pretty effectively into these Dark Elves. The melee stats aren't really that comparable. But there is a big flank coming in from the, the, the Dark Elves that could overwhelm this one little Spearman and get into the Lothar and Seaguard lines. Malekith plus the Peter Crossbows take out about half of Imbric's health. Maybe a little bit less than half, but it is still a lot. He will need an Earthblood probably pretty soon. White Lions tearing apart the Dark Elf front line. Bleak Swords of Black Ark Corsair is getting mincemeated and will soon be pushed off. Meanwhile, the Lothar and Seaguard are using um, their ranged presser, pressure to try and harass the last Sisters of Slaughter still standing. The Heil front line is winning for now. The back line is relatively safe and firing in. And Imric has taken some damage. That's where most of the Dark Elf value comes from, but he can get healed up rather swiftly. So we'll have to see what the Dark Elves have in store and how they can turn this around. Where did we lose the Scourge Run Chariots? There they are. And they are shooting at Imric a little bit, but they're getting zoned out by White Lions, making it difficult for them to get the shots they want to. Big volleys from the Reaper Cross, uh, the Repeater Crossbow Dark Riders. Really killing these white lions, plus the cold and dread knights running in, and Malekith running in. The front line is starting to falter a little bit, which would leave these cold and dread knights free to, you know, pilfer the back line of Lothan Seaguard. Though, Lothan Seaguard are still spear units, so... Eh, grain of salt there. Dragonhorn is getting popped from Imric to try and bolster his front line, while the Dark Elves get their murderous mastery and murderous prowess proc procs off from their army ability. That is buffing up their stats. And here it comes. Dark Elves now using their Scourge Runners in melee like they should to route off the White Lions. And the Sisters of Slaughter Remnants will get on Love and Seaguard with Malekith and really can stop these High Elves from shooting them. Because that is the main problem so far, is just all the uncontested archer support. Imric realizes he is needed back in this blob fight, as is as Frostheart Phoenix most likely, though. It looks like it's busy with some Dark Riders, and that's honestly a really good place for it to be. Catching some Armored Piercing Skirmish Cabin melee is great. Little breath attack from Imric, but he needs to come back and fight these Scourge Runners in melee. He needs to get them out of here. Or do something about the situation. He's not that great at clearing out hordes of infantry, so probably should have been in this fight for now. Malkith's chipper. He's fine. He's happy. He's off in the distance doing his own thing. And a huge attack in from Imric just knocks this Scourge Runner Chariot to the dirt. Now, it still has four out of four models, but its health is so low that even some of these arrows poking at it could probably take out some of the models. Imric is getting a Soul Stealer cast onto him by Malekith. That spell will heal him up a little bit. Malekith wasn't missing that much health. It'll do a little bit of poke to Imric, I guess. Dark Rider Peter Crossbows are also firing at the Dragon Lord himself. White Lions fighting to the last against these Bleak Swords and Dread Spears and Sisters of Slaughter. But without the Sisters of Slaughter supporting the Dark Elf front line, they'll probably start to uh, fail. 
Eh, maybe a rear charge from the Dark Riders will help out, though. Imric's still chasing around the Scourge Runner Chariots. Really, he's tired of their shenanigans, and they only have nine volleys, seven volleys left, so not a lot of ammo, but best to just stop it before it even becomes a problem. Malekith gets a re good rear charge onto Imric, stopping him from doing very much, and these Sisters of Slaughter are extremely tenacious. 101 leadership, even with the damage sustained to them already. Damn, all right, they aren't going anywhere. These other Sisters of Slaughter's only 20 models, also 49 leadership left in them, so they'll fight to the very end. White Lion's running out to try and catch these Dark Riders. It looks like they just might. High Elves are very far up on the balance of power, but it doesn't feel that way. It feels closer or even Dark Elf favored, because Malekith is full health, has a ton of Soul Stealers left. Imric's already received healing, so his healing cap's probably just beyond where we can see. There's some Repeater Crossbows that are healthy. Scourge Runner Chariots with a good amount of models. Two, three. They still have ammo left. I don't know. I think the balance of power is getting a little antsy. Emric dives in once again to try and route off the Dread Spears, which he does. He's also looking for a fight on Malekith. Looks like the Dragonhorn is being popped again. Boom, there it is for everybody. And he's getting regrowth on him, but he's also getting poked in the butt by Dark Riders Speed Crossbows. Dark Elf Frontline. Very wounded. So is the High Elf Frontline. Any, anything that served as a frontline in any capacity is having a bad day. Imric is trying to land on Malekith, but... Ooh, yeah, he actually does land a good hit. He lands another one. Taking Malekith the task, but his healing cap is fast approaching. He's still getting shot by these Scourge Runners and the Repeater Crossbows. That could be a problem. Army losses are on the cusp here for Dark Elves. They can't lose too many more assets without getting big damage onto Imric. Because as far as the game knows, his healing cap is infinite. So it thinks that he's actually at three quarters HP rather than... You know, heal cap to three quarters, and he's actually taking a lot. Big breath attack, plus a charge from the Frostar Phoenix is going to route off this Dark Rider Peter Crossbow. Again, limiting the Dark Elf's capacity to actually hurt Imric and drag the balance of power back towards them. Now, the Dark Elf infantry is just trying to take a fight with these Lothran Seaguard. They want to take any fights that they can to make the balance of power a little bit better for themselves since they actually have a lot of good assets on the field. It just doesn't, the game doesn't believe in them. And Imric is doing his best to cycle route off these Scourge Runners, who are running out of ammo. This one, that's not a Scourge Runner chariot. I don't know where the other Scourge Runner is. There it is. All Scourge Runners are out of ammo, it looks like. Repeater crossbows still have plenty. Not a lot of models, so not a lot of burst. Imric is diving in onto Malekith with his Frostheart Phoenix companion, but a Soul Stealer will hit both of them, dealing some decent damage and healing Malekith right up, so it's really not that big of a deal for the Dark Elves at all. Sisters of Slaughter piling on to the Frostheart Phoenix. Its 80 armor will make it pretty resilient to these sorts of attacks, and Imric diving in as well will make their day hell. They'll probably tear her out soon. But as far as the High Elves go, they're really down to their three single entities. Everything else is routing or so low it'll route in a second. Dark Elves, however, relying pretty heavily on their Skirmish Cav and Malekith. Balance power is quite bad. Scourge and Chariot should focus most of their time on chasing off things, since they're worthless in melee against these big single entities. The Bleak Swords need to group up. Let's see how well Lenorm can kite. Imric lands on some Bleak Swords just trying to route them, and the Frostar Phoenixes are going to land on uh, more Dark Riders. Malkith goes in for a rear charge. Probably going to throw down another Soul Stealer soon on these two big entities. And the Scourge Runners are doing exactly what we wanted, fighting the White Lions of Kreis, really trying to route them off before they can come support Imric. Cold and Dread Knights charge in, tear up before they even get here, and they are gone. Malk is still dueling, and a big volley from the Peter Crossbows at this point. The game takes Imric down to 4,600 HP. Malk is still trying to get a fight with him, but Imric is going to take off. Scourge Runners rolling over High Elf Infantry will route off this, these Spearmen once again, have almost routed off the White Lions of Kreis. Malkith gets another rear charge on Imric, taking 400 more health off him. Cold and Dread Knights are back in the fight. They can't tear out for just a little bit. They already tear out recently, so it won't let it happen to them again. Imric's getting huge hits off onto Malkith, but he's taking a lot of damage in turn. The balance of power just keeps getting worse for the Dark Elves. It really doesn't believe in them. No matter how low Imric gets, it's like, nah, dude, it's not happening. Frostar Phoenix is going to try and route off the Repeater Crossbows. It does, but they've not shattered yet, so they can always come back as these ones keep coming back. Scourge Runners are here. Scourge Runners are trying to pin in Imric, keep him in the fight with Malekith as he pops a dragon horn to give himself and his Frostheart Phoenix and stuff some buffs. And these last little white lions of craze just waddling towards the fight. 
But both Peter Crossbow Cav are back. Imric is so low, getting chased on by Malkith, getting poked by his Soul Stealer. He's down to 1500 HP, 1200, 1100, 600, 500. And if Malkith hits him one more time, he is probably dead. Oh, he did hit him, but he's down to 100 HP, and Malkith hits him again, knocking him to the ground. Now, the balance of power swings wildly into the Dark Elf's favor just slightly. Now it evens out a bit as the Frostheart Phoenix terror routes and naturally routes off most of the Dark Elf army. Dark Elves are barely clinging to any units that are still in the fight. And Malekith. Malekith's going to 1v1 this Frostheart Phoenix for a while. Though, this Lifecaster probably has a regrowth for it in the back pocket soon. Or maybe just some Earthblood Spam or something. But really, they need anything. Repeater Crossbows spending some of their precious ammunition dealing with those White Lions. Don't want to let them get back into melee combat. Two volleys left on this Repeater Crossbow Cav. The other Repeater Crossbow Cav, it looks like, is off the map. So then it's just down to Malekith and these extremely tattered melee forces of the Dark Elves. Frostheart Phoenix just takes a fight with these guys, deciding to shatter once and for all the Dark Riders of Peter Crossbows. And it looks like an Earthblood was trying to get cast by the Mage of Life, but it got cancelled. And now she gets it off, but she was not inside of it because she got pushed so far by this calf. Malekith should be able to beat the crap out of this Frostheart Phoenix, though it does have 41-49 stats. He had 57-55. I don't think the Frostheart Phoenix can beat this entire army. Yeah, there aren't any high elf units we've really forgotten about here. This just is what it is. Frostheart trying to finish off these Dark Riders, but the whole time it's doing that, Malekith is getting free shots on its back for free. He will take it down. That will be a game for the Dark Elves. Even though the Balance of Power thought they were doomed for so long. Imric was heel-capped. And that still matters for something, gosh darn it. Malekith, even off of his dragon, getting almost 4,000 value. Soul Stealer and Malekith are both very balanced things. Um, Soul Stealer heals so goddamn much. It does a decent amount of damage, too. But also heals a lot. Sisters of Slaughter did very well. The Dark Elf Frontline did fine. Repeater Crossbow Cav did excellently, as did the Scourge Runners. Imric did okay. Uh, good value, but considering how much healing he got and stuff, he actually struggled this game for once in his life. White Lions of Christ did well on the front line. Lather and Seaguard did very well in the back. And Spearman did okay. But the Frostheart Phoenix and Imric were not able to carry the entire game. And that's a GG. Rawr! Subscribe, yes, yes.